Last week, we showed you how much non-Russian whitefish remain to be harvested globally, which now begs the question of, how much Russian origin whitefish is imported into the U.S., and how reliant is the U.S. on Russian origin whitefish? For this segment, we'll hand it off to Tradex Food Seafood News correspondent, Sophia Salmani, and I'll return to finish up with a short buyer's update. You know, Alaska is a lure for everybody, I think. Started my son when he was three that year. I've been fishing for 37 years. It's just a beautiful thing to be able to harvest a natural resource that's still super abundant. This fishery is one of the best managed salmon fisheries in the world, if not the best. Based on foreign trade data for 2021, the total Russian origin Pacific cod and Atlantic cod, Pollock and Haddock imports into the U.S. is estimated to be between 25,000 to 50,000 metric tons, or 55 to 110 million pounds and this includes imports of Russian origin fish processed in China and then exported to the U.S. So how reliant is the U.S. on Russian origin cod, pollock, and haddock? As it turns out, for comparison, this equates to only about 3% of the USA's total yearly harvest for Pacific cod, Atlantic cod, pollock, and haddock, which in 2021 totaled around 1.62 million metric tons, or 3.56 billion pounds. And if we subtract total global U.S. exports of those four species from that total of 345 metric tons, this leaves the U.S. with 1.27 million metric tons, or 2.8 billion pounds, available for domestic use. Keeping on this import-export trail, it's interesting to see that in 2021 the U.S. exported about 28,000 metric tons of cod, pollock, and haddock to China but imported about 70,000 metric tons of cod pollock and haddock from China. Now let's go back to Rob for a short buyer's update. Thanks, Sophia. Even though we can expect to see about 1.27 million metric tons of Pacific cod, Atlantic cod, pollock and haddock for use domestically, I would not mistake that for a surplus of inventories this year. While Pacific cod continues to be caught in Alaska with harvest totals around 80,000 metric tons, it appears that prices are trending upward on both H&G and fillets. Pollock continues to be harvested in Alaska as well with current harvest totals around 500,000 metric tons. However, it appears inventories are short as buyers continue to buy up any available inventory. The supply of H&G Atlantic cod and haddock are also currently quite short in the marketplace where the focus and pressure has been on sourcing Norwegian raw materials. Although cod, haddock and pollock are staple whitefish proteins, our recommendation is to also explore other whitefish options that can allow you to implement a stable, long-term sourcing strategy. As another reminder, check our Tradex Live Seafood Offers portal daily for a wide range of products readily available FOB all major North American hubs. And if you're not currently receiving our daily Tradex Live Spotlight emails, contact your Tradex Foods representative to get you on the list. And now, just a couple more reminders to finish this episode. To summarize, the current state of Russian seafood imports into Canada and the UK are subject to a 35% duty. And although the U.S. continues to prohibit Russian seafood, the U.S. extended import deadlines to June 23, 2022 from the original deadline of March 25, 2022. And as for some calendar items for April, Lent comes to an end April 14. The Canadian snow crab fishery is to start early April, and the new season for West Coast pink shrimp meat and California La Legal squid fisheries are now open. If you are not already, be sure to subscribe to our 3-Minute Market Insight using the sign-up form below to keep tuned in to all upcoming market insights. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Robert Ryerson reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood. <music>